that look like a toke gecko egg? It does. And it looks like it's fertile. Where look did at you guys. Do that? Literally in this box there was a little toke gecko egg. It will be great to have another example of maybe a smaller rhino. Oh. Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. It is so good to be home and I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. We're actually starting the day out by doing a local TV spot just for the news to kind of get the word out about the Reptarium and all that good stuff. We have a ship and the snakes coming in as soon as I get back hopefully and today is going to be amazing. What do you say we have an amazing day together and let's get on the road. Oh, Eric, we are back. What's going on, man? I know, did you miss us? I really, I honestly did. The captain to our ship, I kept saying. He's <laughs> going. You got, you, you didn't do anything bad though, everything No, right. of course not. Okay. No, I was very good. I was here early and I left late, okay? Your time the card first didn't one here. That. I must have, you know these computers nowadays. They you must know. have messed up. Yeah, because I noticed mess you, were, it up. you were late a few days. No, no, I don't remember that. I'll have to think. I can't remember. Just okay. trust me. Okay, you got it. Well, listen, me. we've got to go do a TV thing really right quick. Are you in? I'm I'm scared, but I'm in. Okay, well, let's go pack our stuff up and get over to the TV station. Okay. All right. <laughs> so like I mentioned, I'm at the local Fox affiliate news station. We're just doing a little news spot here just to kind of promote the reptarium, promote the love of reptiles and stuff like that. So we always have a good time. I've done these dozens of times here, and so it's pretty cool. Uh, just a quick segment. I think it's like three, four minutes long, something like that. And then we are back to the reptarium. You guys know that I'm always super excited to unbox snakes. It's been too long to be honest with you on the trip and everything else. So let's go ahead and open this up. And to be honest with you, I already know what's in this box. It's only one species of snake, but they are a little bit variable. So I'm really excited to see what they look like. I think there's a total of 18 snakes in this shipment. And again, they're all the exact same snake. Let's see what we got here. All right, uh, they're in bags, which is good. All right, and these guys basically just come around once a year, so when they're available, I try to buy everything that I can from the guy that produces these. Oh my gosh, these are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh my gosh, these are fresh little baby Suriname red tail boas. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just gonna take them all out of the bag. And you guys might have remembered last year, I actually bought some of these babies, but these ones are even fresher than the ones I bought last year, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at this one right here. Look at the tail on that and the patterning on that. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely incredible. I have so many of these, but oh my gosh, they are all over the place. I might actually grab a Rubbermaid and try to put them all in a Rubbermaid so that they're not crawling over the place because I really want to take a look at all of them. And just like all the red tail boas, these guys are variable. So each one's a little bit different. And I want to probably pick out two or three of these to raise up because they're absolutely incredible. Okay, and I think I can put them all in this tub right here. Again, there should be 18 little babies if I'm not mistaken. In, but oh my gosh these things are crazy just take a look at that tail right there who doggy that thing is insane hey Jessica I got a gift for you does that look like a toke gecko egg it does and it looks like it's fertile Where look at guys literally in this box there was a little toke gecko egg. I think it's a toke gecko egg. It's a, it's one of those types of species that yeah. goes around eggs and glues them. It could be a day gecko. Oh my gosh. And you can kind of see that there's a little red splotch on the top. So I think this is fertile. Uh, I can Jessica, Jessica, <laughs> incubate that and see if it, maybe we're going to get a free gecko out of this shipment too. Okay, I'm going to be on the lookout for more eggs now. All right, so that is the last one in this bag here. Oh my gosh. And I spotted one in here that was absolutely spectacular. Take a look at the tail on that one right there. Oh my gosh. That is definitely a keeper right here. Again, I was gonna raise up maybe a male and two females. So regardless of what this is, and it appears to be a little girl. So we're definitely gonna hang on to this little girl and raise her up. Oh my gosh. And again, every time I get these babies, they look a little bit different. Some have longer tails, shorter tails, more red more purples whatever it is anyways they are cool and we've got two more bags to open bag number two and oh my gosh right off the rip oh my gosh that one is incredible just take a look at the color on that animal right there 
oh my gosh, it's got like connecting saddles and really strong widow's peaks as well. And that's where the saddles have these widow peaks right here. Oh my God, that one is a stunner. And then look at the rest of these right here. Oh my God, there are some beautiful ones. This is, this is some of the nicest red tail boas I've seen. I couldn't be more excited and more happy with the quality of these little boas. And again, with those widow peaks, take a look at this one, how the widow peaks in the saddles are really, really close together. And then this one has a kind of short tail, but extremely nice. Again, I love the variability. And this one has all of the saddles are connecting with the stripe as well. And then the last bag that we're opening up here, oh my goodness, gracious. Let's see what we have. Again, just take a look at these. Oh my gosh. I mean, the tails on these are absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. And that's the difference between the true red tail boas and the common Colombian boas that most people have is that redness in the tail. And the Surinams actually get a little bit larger as well. Man, these guys are great. Let's take a look at that bag. All those cute little babies right there. Ooh, dog, that's awesome. I have always loved red tail boas. And to get 18 little cute babies is amazing. And speaking of amazing, look at this one. And look at that red tail on that one. The pattern with the white outlining. Oh my God. These are absolutely incredible. I love unboxing snakes. I hope you guys like it too. Even though it's just one species, all 18 babies look a little bit different. I'm definitely going to be looking at all these and again, picking out one or two or three that I'm going to raise up. Oh my God, I can't wait till these guys get started eating. Then they'll get on the BHB website. So if you guys are looking for baby Suriname red tail boas, uh, they will be available here in the next few weeks. Yay, me and Laura are going on another trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to go get hay. I love going to this store to get the hay. You guys have seen it before. I don't know. It's just something. And if they have, we some are chicks, not getting any chickens. No, I need. I need some chickens. I do need some chickens for Veer Day. If they have them. one, one, three, one, three, one. Let's see what they have. <laughs> For those of you guys that have been watching a long time, you'll remember me coming to this place because I just, I don't know, there's something I love about it. There's everything you could ever imagine here. I mean, from food to uh, horse food, <laughs> you name it. it's a crazy place, but uh, sometimes they even have baby chicks, but I don't hear any baby chicks, which is a little bit of a bummer for Veer Day, but uh, we are here for Timothy Hay for the tortoises and the skinks and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our hay here for the tortoises and skinks, but uh, I don't see any birds. They changed things around here. This used to be on the other side, and then they had like a bunch of little like troughs with a bunch of birds in it right over there, but now things are different now. Lori just asked, no chickens, no baby chickens. They did say about a month or so they'll start having them again so Verde can get it, but we can order them online, so I think we're going to have to do that because Verde has <sighs> been a few weeks since she's eaten, and uh, I need what? Not if you have to get a dozen again. Oh yeah, we have to get 10. No. Ten at a time. No. Well, it's, one, it's one turkey and ten no. chickens. <laughs> no, I'm going to find a different option. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not. I think it's all right. That did not work out well last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's get back to the shop. We have so many awesome ball pythons that are breeding this year. I'm super excited that this pastel lesser clown ball python was hooked up with a pastel leopard clown ball python earlier this week. So hopefully this girl will go for us and have some really beautiful babies. They'll all be clowns. There'll be super pastel clowns. There'll be leopards. There'll be lessers. There'll be leopard lessers. There's all kinds of crazy stuff that could come out of this pairing. So I can't wait for this clutch. I know everyone's been working on Diddy and trying to get him tame. They're still pretty crazy trying to get out. I'm not going to lie. And the female is definitely not calming down very much. But Diddy is starting to do pretty good. Of course, he's a little baby rhino iguana. And we want him to be kind of the next Bella in a way. Although no one's ever going to replace Bella, it will be great to have another example of maybe a smaller rhino. Oh, and I tell you what, Diddy is getting so big. A lot of people have been asking me about lori ball pythons lately and why there aren't a ton of combos the truth is we just haven't worked it too hard a few other people are starting to really get going but this is actually a scaleless head lori ball python and we're breeding it to another scaleless head lori so with any luck maybe we'll get some super lori scaleless anyone that's seen the super lories know that they're born like this blue and white beautiful color and if you put that into scaleless oh doggy that's gonna be incredible i realize that's a long shot it's like a one in eight if they actually even go so hey if we don't get them this year we'll just keep on trying. I'm pretty excited that later on today we get to open up the Reptarium because you got to remember I was out of town last weekend and missed the first weekend ever since we've been open here at the Reptarium. We actually had a snowstorm too but apparently it was still relatively busy so I'm really excited that hopefully today we'll 
get a bunch of cool people that come in and I can start to enjoy showing people all these wonderful animals again. It's amazing how much I missed it. If you guys remember a while ago, I got this really strange Puma ball python. Definitely not a normal Puma ball python whatsoever. So she's breeding this year. So hopefully we can start to unlock the mystery of what other genes she has. She is a gorgeous animal. And again, has already had a couple locks. So we're gonna check follicles next week and hopefully these girls will start to grow. And with any luck, we'll have a ton of ovulations here in the next few months. There you guys are. I wanted to ask you guys a few things. I mean, how did things go when I was gone? Yeah. I think it was legit. It was, was. Yeah, because I saw the footage you guys sent me and it sounded like you guys were screwing around and you were like, oh, the boss aren't here so we can do anything we want. Oh. No, you said there was like no work being done. That's not what I said. No, that was just for the I don't cameras. Think I said that. Yeah, that no, was just I for the cameras. Did I, say I, didn't I, think, know. I think at one point there was something said, something like, what? They can't do anything. They're not here. I, I did, think that's what you guys said. You I, called our bluff. I didn't again, think you'd bring it up. I'm, I don't think you'd see I that. I said it. What? I didn't so, think you'd see so that. So if I go around, I'm not going to find any mistakes, right? I don't know. Not, no, I don't. <laughs> Maybe. Just double check everything. Yeah, just to make just sure. Just check. All right, I was a little worried about it, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I you guys can only imagine, concerned. you can only imagine my concern when I'm over in Italy and I watch a video where you guys are like, oh, they're not here. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, what do you expect? Wait, well, you know, we're I, just. I liked it better when you, you guys were. <laughs> What? That's it, horrible. What? No. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Thanks you. a lot, Noah. What? Oh was, my god. That's your son. I was the I boss. Know. Okay, well you can he stay the boss. the boss. <laughs> oh my gosh. I tell you, that's it. Noah will never be in charge. When we leave next time, Noah's not in charge anymore. Oh my god, you knuckleheads. Yesterday when I came back and showed some of the animals, the one animal that I was messing with but didn't film, of course, was Night Fury. And he has gotten big, he's junky, he is getting absolutely beautiful. It shed just before we left, so it's still looking incredibly amazing. I mean, I tell you what, look at that snake right there I don't care who you are that is one gorgeous snake and everyone that comes in to see them just sees that iridescence and oftentimes go is that blue on the snake and I'm like it's not actually blue it's just the iridescence of all the rainbow colors and you kind of get this blue sheen to it I tell you what night fury you're absolutely gorgeous and he's got that personality just like Perdita he's gonna be a great animal ambassador for a long time to come Reptarium just opened up it's a little bit of a slow start tonight but hey it's winter here and stuff like that but it's nice to start to have people coming in. You like the snake? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Again, as always, just having a good time with some people coming in. It's kind of good that it's a little slower tonight because, to be honest with you, I'm still recovering from the trip. So if it was really crazy, insanely busy, maybe I would have a hard time keeping up. I have a feeling that tomorrow is going to be a pretty busy day because we had a lot of people calling and emailing saying they're going to be here tomorrow. So it should be absolutely happy. And like I had mentioned in yesterday's vlog, we have a really busy day tomorrow. I think I have four tours tomorrow before we even open. So it's kind of good that it's a little bit of a mild night, but still really a great time. Time. As we're winding down here at the Reptarium, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this day and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me, and I really, 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 truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors, if you don't mind? If you happen to like this video, can you hit that like button for this video? If you happen to want to know when I upload a video, turn those post notifications on. Make sure to leave a comment down below because I really love reading your comments and I love to respond to you guys so please do that for me be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow